guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Salyers, back for the Music Factory Studios. Today we're going to check out this hot new distro, Ubuntu Budgie. Ubuntu Budgie is back. 20.04 long-term release. It's in beta right now. But as you can see, we're going to check it out on the i3-7100 the and the AMD 550. And this is a little HP Slimline, and it's a, a great little computer for checking out Linux distros because it has the AMD GPU as well as the Intel CPU. It has an NVMe drive. It has 8 gigs of RAM, and it also has like a 7200 RPM regular spinning hard drive for other things. Now, we're running kernel 5.4. Now, we're going to check out a few things. Let's look at GoTop and see how much memory is being used. We'll also check out HTOP as well and see that it's using 1.7 gigs. But remember, I am screen recording on this machine at the same time, and it is a beta release. Now, I'm going to say that Ubuntu Budgie has some cool new things going on, some things that I was surprised to see they had implemented. And one of those is Radeon Top is using the GPU at hardware acceleration a little bit better than 19.10 of Ubuntu. So that's great to see because really I was only, of all the distros I had tested, Solus was the only one. Now check out the new menu here. We have this new menu that is reminiscent of the menu in elementary OS and as you can see this system in beta is a little high on CPU usage even though it is using the GPU for hardware acceleration and if you look on this this right hand side of the screen where it says Radeon unknown it's showing us what the graphics are actually doing and it's using that for hardware acceleration which is great to see all right, I want you to check something out. Check out this new Ubuntu Budgie menu. It's reminiscent of elementary OS, and it's really, really nice. Now, I will say this. You have different options. You can still use the old menu, but the good thing about having these options is it's not like it's some black hole of options like Plasma is. It's just enough options so you don't feel like you've got, you're overwhelmed. So you've got an app launcher where you can have the apps that you most use. You can also use the old or older budgie style menu, or you can use this new elementary style menu, which I think complements Ubuntu budgie really, really well. I like having this option. I'd like to see it ported to Solus budgie because it's very, very nice. It's intuitive to use. It's easy to use. And it gives you big, nice icons so you can see. And everybody knows I am blind as a bat. And the bigger the icon, the better for me to see. So I'm really, really excited that Ubuntu Budgie has taken it this far. Now, there is also this new option called Desktop Layouts that I had never noticed before. Now, if it's been there before, I didn't notice it. But it it is pretty cool. Now, some of the the themes inside of this budgie welcome would not install but that could be due to beta software or some other unknown issue but uh, a few of them installed a few of them didn't so as you can see here i'm going to try to install one it says failed installation of ant theme it, it, the ant theme won't install and i've tried all of them numerous times just to see if maybe it was some other reason it wasn't installing they just won't install but let's check out the desktop layout now there are a few different options here you've got an ubuntu budgie layout classic budgie redmond traditional budgie the one cupertino and they're all really cool they give you a different flavor if you're coming from any other desktop environment you can find one you're comfortable with I mean, you have a plethora of options here. You got, that was classic Ubuntu. Here is traditional Budgie, which is the, the more soulless style layout with the regular menu. There is this Cupertino layout, which is pretty cool. It's a Mac OS X style layout. And I like it because it gives you the menu bar at the top so you can quit apps. As a Mac user, 
this is really handy. I'm really considering running Solus Budgie. I just wish Ubuntu had a little bit newer packages. Some things are just too old for my taste, but you can even make it look like a combination of Solus Budgie or like a Mac. And look at this menu with the Marweta dark theme. How cool did that look? It's deep. It looks good. And it just, I'm, I, look at that. Look how sharp that looks. That just looks so good. So there's also this option called the one and I like it. The only problem is the, the sidebar for budgie, unless you're using pretty much the themes that they have in the welcome, uh, app, you end up with kind of squished, a squished sidebar. <laughs> so that can be a problem, but if you click on the, you know, the built-in theme button here, it kind of fixes that issue. So, you know, that's not a big problem. Let's check out some of these themes here a little bit. Here's the, the Mojave Dark. Um, I installed a bunch of themes just to see how well they work. Most of these themes are built for GNOME. And in Budgie, 90% of them work really well. There's just that 10% that doesn't work well, like that Mac Weta theme. It just doesn't work well with Budgie. But if you click the built-in theme button inside of Budgie desktop settings, it will kind of fix all of that. The top bar and sidebar aren't going to match perfectly, but it will keep your desktop from getting out of whack and having you know system icons be too big or too small or things of that nature. So basically what I do normally is just make it transparent. That way it doesn't seem out of place. As you can see now, we've got more of a brown window and a blue sidebar. But once we go to basically an invisible built-in kind of dynamic transparency, it doesn't matter. You can't really tell. So, but uh, these new desktop options are really nice to have. I like that. Um, I think that Ubuntu Budgie is doing an awesome, awesome thing with trying to push forward their desktop environment. I think they've done more for their desktop environment, for the Budgie desktop environment, than the other flavors have. Most of them are pretty stock bone normal. And Ubuntu Budgie is like, eh, we don't have to be stock bone normal. We can be different. And I like that. I like that they give you options. So if you don't like the new theme or the new stuff, you can get rid of it easily with the push of a button and go back to the way you liked it before. That's nice. That's wonderful. It works great. Um, I also want to say that if Ubuntu Budgie really wants to push the envelope a little bit, a few things I think they could really do to stand out would be to add touchpad gestures. Now, some people say, well, Linux doesn't have touchpad gestures. Yes, yes, there are distros with touchpad gestures. And they're, they're less common in GNOME and GNOME-based desktop environments. But Deepin OS has really nice mouse gestures, like four fingers down, shows you all the workspaces. Four fingers up shows and will maximize a window. You can alt tab with swiping three fingers left or right. I mean, things like that are really nice. And there's a four finger swipe to swipe between workspaces. Um, you know, little things like that. And when I tried out extern OS, they're using the same touchpad gesture. So I'd like to see something like that brought to Ubuntu Budgie or you know, the rest of Linux in general. Because here's the thing, using Deepin or even Xterm, I've tried Xterm on a couple different machines this week and I tried it because of the touchpad gestures. I tried it on a crappy, <laughs> I don't know where this thing came from. Someone left it here and uh, it was an RCA Cambio. It's like a little touch screen with a keyboard, a detachable keyboard. Uh, uh, you know, Windows machine. So I plugged in the USB stick, booted into Extern, and all it is is this just hard piece of plastic that that 
you know, is used for a touchpad. And the gestures work just fine. So it's not really, uh, a, you know, a difference between track pads or something. Because on my, I've got a HP Pavilion gaming machine. And touchpad gestures inside of Deep and work perfectly fine. And it's in Windows, it's an ELAN trackpad. I also have an HP Omen and an Acer Helios 300. And those use Windows Precision drivers on Windows. And with Deepin, the, 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 the gestures work just fine as well. So as you can see, Ubuntu Budgie runs really, really well on this dual core four thread i3 machine. And it works wonders for anyone that needs a distro that's not kind of bland. You know, nothing against XFCE or, you know, LXQT, but those those are desktop environments that they just don't look good. And Budgie does everything well and looks good at the same time. You know, the another complaint I've had about Budgie is if they just slow down the animations, like the maximize animations and the the window snapping animations by like maybe a hundred milliseconds or something, it would feel a little more snappy because when you click maximize and it just herky jerky opens up to a full window, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel like it's like it's using the hardware to its fullest and you know in gnome you can if you use something like impatience you can slow down the animations just a little bit or speed them up but the difference is the animations are still there you know and there's some good animations like the minimize animation is really nice inside of ubuntu budgie that's perfect but the window snapping and and maximize animations just ah, they they seem kind of you know off a little bit so if those could be you know increased a little bit in their time so they can work that would be awesome i'd like to see that um there's also you know there's been improvements all around into ubuntu budgie as far as i can tell everything just felt snappier in this version and it just it it, it was really, really nice to use this distribution and know that it's solid. It's a real solid distro. The new menu, I, I really like it. I really like that the, the themes all work well. And I like that you have the option of a lot more applets now inside of ubuntu budgie there's far more applets in ubuntu budgie than there is in solus budgie and that's a pretty cool thing if you like a lot of options and stability and an ubuntu base i mean you can't go wrong here the one thing i will say is ubuntu budgie you know for being as young of a desktop environment as it is has shown a lot of maturity very fast and that's that's important because it shows that they're the the developers are committed to this for the long haul and that's something that you can depend on when it comes to ubuntu compared to other distributions and a lot of those fly-by-night distributions but uh ubuntu budgie has so much to offer it gives you the power of you know the gnome stack and this welcome screen is really powerful for new users who are just moving to Ubuntu Budgie. And, you know, if you're just moving to Ubuntu Budgie from, say, Windows or Mac, you'll be comfortable here. You can install your favorite browser really easily. You know, if you're a, a Chrome user or a Firefox user or Vivaldi user or an Opera user, you can, you're going to be right at home. You're not going to run into any oddball issues because these are installed mostly by Snap. So all of the dependencies are there with it. And there's no real other issues as far as, you know, FFmpeg for Chromium or other things along those lines. There's a lot of useful information. I do think the familiarity window, the little side window that's popping out right now, needs to stay seen 
and in the open the whole time because it's kind of you can get in certain spots inside this welcome app where it's hard to get back to that window and you know I, I think it would be of importance to leave that little side window out all the time now as you can see you know this this distribution is running kernel 5.4 and it works really well i am getting a little high cpu usage but that's because i'm screen recording at the same time while i was you know doing the initial poking around of ubuntu budgie and you know i thought i would just kind of speak over a screen recording of me just checking out the entire distro but ubuntu budgie is blowing up and they are amazing amazing developers all right guys and gals if you enjoyed this review of ubuntu budgie beta hit the subscribe button hit the little bell for notifications and we'll see y'all next time have a great day y'all